My topic today is increasing longevity and decreasing chronic conditions. If I don't touch on a particular subject that you'd like me to speak on, well, uh, please ask the questions during the Q&A session, which will be a couple of minutes after my lecture. First thing I have to touch on is what are enzymes? Enzymes are biocatalysts. They are things that help other things to work. In the human body, we have some 3,000 known enzymes producing about some 7,000 enzymic reactions. Everyone is familiar with the use of enzymes in terms of digestion, but digestion is what enzymes do on the way out. It's almost the last thing they do. The most important of the enzymes we have are the proteolytic or the protein-eating enzymes. A few primary enzymes of the protein-eating enzymes become the 3,000 other enzymes in something called an enzymic cascade. So the most important enzymes to the human body are the protein-eating ones, and we'll cover why in a second. Now, the question is, what are systemic enzymes? Again, everyone knows what enzymes are in terms of digestion. Systemic enzymes are enzymes that have their action throughout the entire body. And then they'll act as digestive enzymes on the way out. Let me give you a brief history on the therapeutic use of enzymes. Enzyme preparations were first used by a Dr. John Beard. He was a Scottish physician who, back in 1912, discovered that pancreatic cancer patients were not making pancreatic juices. So he surmised that there was something in the pancreatic juices that prevented cancer from setting in. So he went about cutting sheep pancreases and trying to make extracts from it and most of his patients got better. When others tried to duplicate Dr. Beard's studies, they couldn't get the same effect. They weren't using the same fresh pancreas, fresh killed pancreas, as he was using. They were letting it lie around. They were doing all sorts of other stuff, and so his work was considered to be quackery, uh, was thrown out the window, and no one thought about it anymore until the 1920s, 1930s, when a young Austrian physician at NYU and Columbia called Dr. Max Wolf took up the study of enzymes. He was an endocrinologist, an OBGYN, and in studying hormones, that led him to enzymes. He was looking for the things that caused other things to happen in the body. Dr. Wolf picked up on Dr. Beard's work, began to isolate enzymes, made it so that he could maintain the life of the enzyme. Enzymes are living things. He could, made, he could put these enzymes into suspended animation so that he could work with them and use them therapeutically. He continued that work until his death in 1973. Around 1959 or 1960, he had perfected his particular blend of enzymes. And a company in Germany, under the leadership of Dr. Karl Ronsberger, who was a, a famous um, immunologist and enzymologist, started making these enzymes and selling them publicly. Dr. Ronsberger can be credited with most of the early research validating both the absorption and therapeutic use of enzymes. Dr. Ronsberger can be uh, complimented for bringing enzymes into both the therapeutic setting, hospital-wise, we'll get to that later, and in, into the athletic setting. Then we come to the end of the 20th century, and we have Dr. Vic Rafi. Dr. Rafi is a PhD enzymologist, PhD pharmacologist, and he has taken Dr. Ronsberger and Dr. Wolf's work to the next level. 